What's good, everybody? Welcome back to today's video. This is David here, back with a br brand new video. And oh boy, we are one week, exactly one week away from Super Bowl 54. Super Bowl 54 is bringing us a very exciting matchup between two teams that are just exciting to watch. Number one, the San Francisco 49ers. And number two, the Kansas City Chiefs. The San Francisco 49ers are led by head coach Kyle Shanahan, who is one of the best young coaches in the NFL. His dad, who was a former Super Bowl winning coach, Kyle Shanahan, runs offenses old school. But who, who are the 49ers players on their team? <clears throat> well, they're led by Jimmy Garoppolo, who was thought to be the heir apparent to Tom Brady. Jimmy Garoppolo, in his career, this season, excuse me, has thrown for 3,978 yards, 27 touchdowns to 13 interceptions, and leads the 49ers to their first Super Bowl in seven years, when the team lost to the Baltimore Ravens. And who does he have as a supporting cast? He's got Raheem Mostert, who is one great running back and is, uh, has had a great Cinderella career. Because whenever he gets the ball, he goes to stuff, goes somewhere with it. Kyle Juszczyk, the fullback. <coughs> Kyle Juszczyk. Plays fullback great. If he ain't blocking, he's doing something with the football. He's running it, making big yards, or he plays, does good in the passing game as well. He plays great at what is considered a dying position. The wide receivers the 49ers have are some great ones. Whether it's a rookie that's made great impact in Debo Samuel or... Emmanuel Sanders, who in the season they traded with the Denver Broncos to get, who's a former Super Bowl winner himself. And and who's one of the most speediest receivers in the league. And George Kittle, who is maybe the best tight end in the NFL. The 49ers offense is great. But their defense might be even better. The number two ranked defense in the NFL this season, the 49ers got one great Super Bowl defensive line. Whether it's D Ford, who they traded with the Chiefs, the team they're playing against to get in the offseason, or it's the rookie Nick Bosa or DeForest Buckner. <coughs> the 49ers defensive line is vicious and is coming to attack. And other great players too, like Quan Alexander. And how can you not forget the verbal leader of their secondary, future Hall of Fame and former Super Bowl champion cornerback, Richard Sherman, who, who caught the game-sealing interception in the NFC Championship game against the Packers. While the Kansas City Chiefs are led by Andy Reid who's no stranger to the Super Bowl as he appeared in Super Bowl 39 where the as head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles as the Eagles lost to the Patriots. He he's doing what he can to get his first Super Bowl ring. But who are the players he's got on his team? He's got Patrick Mahomes. One of the best quarterbacks in the NFL and a guy who's going to have nothing but a great future in this in this league. If he ain't making plays with his arm, he's making them with his leg and he's exciting to watch as he repeated his MVP season with a great encore season. They got another journeyman running back named Damian Williams who's done such a great job 
and they got one of the speediest receivers in the NFL in Tyreek Hill, and along with George Kittle, could be considered the best tight end in the NFL named Travis Kelsey. While their defense don't have any spectacular, isn't spectacular, they got some great players. They got Chris Jones and the future Hall of Famer who they got off waivers this season, Terrell Suggs. <coughs> this will be a great matchup to watch. Well, let's take a look at who will win some awards this year. League MVP, Lamar Jackson. In just his second season, Lamar Jackson has taken the league by storm. He showed some potential in his rookie year last year, but now it's his second season and he's played lights out. He threw for 3,127 yards. 36 touchdowns to only six interceptions. And if he wasn't making plays with his legs, his arm, excuse me, he was making them with his legs. As he threw for 1,208, as he ran for 12,800 yards and had seven rushing touchdowns. You remember the touchdown he run against the Bengals? Offensive player of the year, what about Derrick Henry? Led the league with 1,540 rushing yards and had 16 rushing touchdowns Derrick Henry was the big reason why the Titans had the deep playoff run to the AFC championship game defensive player of the year Stephon Gilmore on the league's top ranked defense the New England Patriots Stephon Gilmore may have not led the league with tackles which he only had 53 but he tied the league for most interceptions with six and, and was led the league with 20 pass deflections. Really good in what's become a big passing league. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Josh Jacobs from the Raiders. Josh Jacobs has an emotional story. Went from homeless to living in a car to now being an NFL running back. Josh Jacobs had 1,150 rushing yards and seven rushing touchdowns and 20 receptions to 166 receiving yards. He gives a big boat and the fact that he did miss three games, imagine if he played all three and how much more yards he could have had. That alone gives him rookie of the year. Defensive Rookie of the Year, what about Nick Bosa? <coughs> 47 tackles, 9 sacks, 1 forced fumble, 1 interception, and is a big part of why San Francisco is now in the Super Bowl this year. He got my vote for Defensive Rookie of the Year, and what a great impact he has on the 49ers. Coach of the year, Kyle Shanahan. It was just three years ago the Niners were the one of the worst teams in football at 2-14. and 14. After 6-10 six, six and 10 and 4-12 and 12 seasons, Kyle Shanahan is now one win away from taking San Francisco to a Super Bowl. Championship season. And comeback player of the year, what about Jimmy Garoppolo? Coincidentally, against the team... That he's going up against in the Super Bowl in week three last year against the Kansas City Chiefs. Jimmy Garoppolo got injured and was out for the year. He came back with a vengeance. Threw for 3,978 yards, 27 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. And is a leading San Francisco to a Super Bowl and is one win away from a Super Bowl championship. The f Jimmy Garoppolo gets my Comeback Player of the Year award. Well, the 2019 season was the NFL's 100th season, celebrating 100 years of pro football. Players really shined, like Lamar Jackson had a great breakout campaign. Christian McCaffrey had a great rushing season as well. And 
Super Bowl 54 in Miami will be played a week from today. May we all enjoy it and get ready to see what 2020 will bring. Let me know in the comments section what you think, who you think wins Super Bowl 54, who do you think wins the awards next Saturday. Again, this is David. I'm out. Peace.